here said he just saw Get down the street, and he's headed this way. We need him like we need a prairie twister. Where's Wyatt? Upstairs, as usual. Was Get alone? He was when I saw him. Ladies, you need to leave. And so do I. Farewell. I gotta go tell Wyatt. Be right back. Why'd you stop? That was kind of nice. I want to look at you better. Oh, come on. I'm just another girl around here. No, no you're not. And one day I'm going to whisk you away from all this. Well, you've been seeing me for quite some time. And I'm not going to hold my breath for such a thing. Who is it? It's me, Wyatt. Nash Gat is heading this way. Probably looking for you. Thanks for the heads up. How much time we got? Not much at all. Should I stay here? Yes, Gina. Things could get dicey. No whisking away from me today. Pot of coffee? I don't care, just get it. Let me know if you need anything else. I do. You do? I need to know where Wyatt Earp is. Wyatt, uh, he, I didn't see him this morning when I came in. Uh, he usually should be popping in sometime this afternoon, but you never really know with him exactly. Why did this happen? Because guess the scorpion, a no good low life. No, no. 
don't think she's gonna make it away. Why didn't you shoot first? I heard what happened from other folks. I'd like to know what you have to say about it. Get got away. All right. Were you upstairs when he came in? I was. With that girl? Yes, sir. I ain't got nothing against that, Wyatt. What I have a problem with is that you were supposed to be on duty at the time. It won't happen again, Sheriff. I'm sure it will happen again, Wyatt. Serena's going to be missed. She's been a fixture downtown for a long time. She kept her place running smooth. A lot of people cared for her. How'd she get hit, Wyatt? Get shot at me, but the bullet hit her. I don't think he was caring who might get hit. But the bullet was meant for you. Yes, it was. Who shot first, Wyatt? Get shot first, didn't he? Yeah. You told me. You told me not to shoot first. That it wasn't the honorable thing to do. Well, it's not, but... There ain't no honor in innocent people dying, either. Working the law means making a lot of tough decisions. You're absolutely right, Mr. Wyatt Earp. But those are the kind of decisions only a lawman can make. So I guess they're planning a funeral for Serena? Yeah. We need to be there. I was planning on it. Wyatt, have you ever been to Colorado? Colorado? Yeah, big mountains and all those kind of things. No, sir. There's a man by the name of Fulton there. He started his own railroad and is doing pretty good. Is he a friend of yours? I don't know him, actually. But he sent the word out to law enforcement that he's looking for security officers. All righty. But how would I be able to work for him and you at the same time? You can't, Wyatt. I think it might be a good idea for you to take a break from the streets of Wichita for a while. Get some good fresh mountain air. Do you know what this man's paying? A little bit more than you're making here. Look, Wyatt, I'll give you a good reference. I do feel you have a future in law enforcement. Your pa did, too. Of course, he was the first one to tell me not to shoot first. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Wyatt, you do realize there's a funeral in progress, don't you? Yes, sir. Sheriff, did you see a woman standing behind that fallen oak tree over there? I wasn't looking at the tree during the service, actually. She had red hair. Kind of like... Seriously, Wyatt, I pretty well believe you need to take some time off. Go get the details of this Colorado deal in person. It might be a good fit for you right now. Are you letting me go, Sheriff? No, I'm not. If and when you come back, there will be a job waiting for you here. Okay.
What's the matter, Wyatt? You look like you've seen a ghost. Have I? You left Wichita awful quick. Heading for greener pastures? Well, I've got somewhere to go. You weren't the one who shot me. Nash Gat is a hard case that needs to be cracked. You ain't running away, are you, Wyatt? Nope. I'll take care of you. Now, whether or not Wyatt Earp was actually trying to run away at this point, that's probably a matter best left to him and the great beyond. However, when someone is confronted with something that is, let's say, spiritual in nature, it's best not to skirt the truth in conversations. Like so many others before him, Wyatt headed west, seeking his fortune. Now, I've been called a vulture for picking through the bones and remains of these railroad companies that have gone bankrupt. But I believe in going through their assets and turning their defunct assets into something positive and new. <laughs> I've also been called crazy for starting a railroad when half the railroads that have started in the past 10 years have gone bust. Well, gentlemen, most of these railroads that have gone belly up were because of poor management and wasteful spending. They raised a lot of money, and then they wasted it all on fancy offices and fancy new toys like this one back here. It's the only relatively new locomotive that I have in my fleet, and it's second hand. Now that one over there, that's not even five years old, and it's already worn out. I got it for a song. By the time my mechanics get through with it, it's gonna be as good as new, if not better, and at a fraction of the cost. The market's already crowded. Too many railroads vying for the same business. You got a point there, but this is a passenger train. It's gonna be based in the mountains of Colorado. And Colorado, my friends, is just a hair's breadth away from being a state. We're mostly gonna be hauling miners, their families and their belongings. And there's not any competition for this. Well, there's no competition because it's incredibly dangerous. Not all that dangerous, not if you know what you're doing. Now, my father was in the railroad business his whole life, and I grew up in the railroad business. What we have to do is be sure we provide security for the passengers, and what we'll also do is provide excellent maintenance and preventive maintenance so we can take care of the machinery and property we already have. Gentlemen, as long as there are people working these mines, we're going to do well. Whoa. Whoa. Good afternoon, Miss Lily. Hello, Reverend King. I heard you bought the place. Yes, I did. Are you going to clean it up? Yes, ma'am. We're going to get around to it. What are you going to do with this place? It's going to be a church. It's going to be a sanctuary. It's going to be for people that ain't got nowhere to go. I wish you luck. Have a good day. Mr. Furlong, this report isn't what you wanted to hear. What do you think we need? We need more security. We need better train security. So did we ever hear back from those pompous, pious Pinkertons? Yes, we did. It's more than twice what you wanted to pay. Plus, they wanted advances. No, honest days pay for an honest day's work. 
I'm not going to bust our bankroll trying to pay advance money. And if the Pinkertons think they're going to get advance money, they can kiss my big fat ass. You want me to tell them that? Yeah, I want you to tell Well, maybe, maybe don't tell them the part about the kissing. Who else we got? Well, they're just lawmen out of Wichita. Sheriff Milliken. He's a good man. He's a good sheriff. So did we get a letter of recommendation from him? We did. He's probably making pretty good money working the streets of Wichita. Wichita can be pretty tough. Maybe not as rough as Kansas City, but still a good many rough characters passing through. I'll tell you what. Let me look at that recommendation letter from Sheriff Milliken. And if things pan out, maybe we'll give him a try. That's a good idea, Mr. Furlong. I'll see to it that he makes his way to Denver next week. That way you two can meet. Otherwise, we're going to start losing money, and I got a lot invested in this. Mr. King, I'm about done with the brush cleaning, at least for the day. I need you to move that wood on that side of the house. Thank God. Thank God told me to tell you something. All of you. Do you want me to tell you what he said? He told me he wants y'all to come see him. Amen. Yes, sir. What kind of place is this? We call it the Kingdom House. Do you now? Why is that? It's the house of God. We take in many people that have no place to go. So this boy over here, he has nowhere to go? That boy is an orphan. His parents was killed on the frontier. Killed by what? Bad men. Bandits. Hmm. Oh, them kind. We're all God-fearing people here, mister. I don't fear nothing. I guess you're not church-going man, sir. You are correct. This is my calling. So all these people around here believe in God? They most certainly do. Do they want to meet him? Mister, they will meet him. What I mean is, would they like to meet him now? If it's the Lord's will. Huh, is that how it works? Yep, that's how it works. as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil.
I'm bringing them to you. What's your name, boy? Ezekiel. Well, I'm all out of bullets, too. I know you're not the man that killed my pa, but you're just like him. So I give you a choice. Which you could stay here, which I most likely will kill you. Or you can hightail it out of here and never come back. Say, Mr. Furlong, you have a very, very nice house. Thank you, Wyatt. Thank you. Yeah, most of this stuff's not from around here, though. Um, the majority came by rail from the East Coast and a little bit of it through San Francisco. Sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, no small expense either. Well, let's get to the point here. Looks like you're going to be coming to us from the Sheriff's Department in Wichita. That's right. The Sheriff Milliken is a highly respected man and you have a fine recommendation from him. That's good. Me and him always got along. So what made you want to decide to leave Wichita? I just needed a change of scenery. Well we sure had the scenery here in Colorado. Now I've been through Kansas a number of times and that's some mighty flat, flat land. But there's good folks there. Yes sir, there are plenty of good folks there. There are indeed some good folks, some good, hard-working, honest, upstanding, God-fearing folks. But railroad work is different than what you're used to. You'll be on patrol, then something crazy will happen all of a sudden. It's a good thing that you've got a, a law enforcement background. Some of the agents that we have that don't have any law enforcement background have no idea what to do sometimes when let's say, delicate situations arise. I'm pretty sure I can handle whatever comes my way. I'm sure you can. Well, let's go ahead and get all this paperwork stuff done and uh, hope you enjoy riding the train. Mr. Earp, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. We have never been formally introduced. I am known in these parts as Jedediah. Hello, Jedediah. I am sorry to say I am the harbinger of bad news. One of our trains has been robbed. Where? City of Lujunta, on the Arkansas River. I have been asked to accompany you. And I have been asked to assist you in any way possible. All right, let's go. Think that's them? It's gotta be. 
Look like first timers. Why do you say that? On account they don't care who hears them. There ain't nobody around here for miles and miles. Except us. This may not be their lucky day. Can't believe I woke up a rich man today. You're lucky you didn't wake up dead. Day ain't out yet. I ain't never dreamed of having this much money. So what you gonna do with your money, McGee? When I get to Denver, I'm gonna get me a house. Gonna buy you a house? Nah, dumbass. I'm gonna buy me some friends. Lady friends. That kind of house. Well, boys, we ain't out of this yet. Sure we are. Nobody knows about this place. Railroad knows everything. They got them telegraphs. What was this place? Miners camp. Gold rushers. Where'd they go? Gold rush ended. They moved on. Rusty, how can we shot down that coal man? Yeah, all he was doing was shoveling coal. <laughs> didn't like his beard. Shot down a man on account you didn't like his beard. Well, I didn't like the way he was looking at us. Oh, he knew that man. Who the hell are you? He's railroad. I've seen him before. He was a good family man. A lot of folk depended on him. Ah, stop it. You're gonna make me cry. Get on your knees, company man. Boys look smart. <laughs> I can't lie. You boys look about as sharp as the mud under my boots. Gentlemen, I suggest you put your weapons down. I was just hoping, just hoping, that for once in your pathetic little lives, you could show the world some common sense. Yep, money's in the bay. You okay to ride? I've had better days. Well, mister, congratulations on tracking down that pack of outlaws. Oh, uh, Jedediah did all the tracking. I was just a hired gun. Regardless, that group of men will not be a threat to this operation anymore. I suppose not. How's Jedediah doing? <laughs> better. He's better. You know, he's been shot before. But he's a lifelong railroad man. Yeah, I talked to him about that. Seems like he ain't been paid much for putting his life on the line. Uh, okay. So you're asking for a raise? Yes, sir. For me and him. Typically, probation period's a year before we start kicking up people's pay. It's the only way we can test for loyalty. Hmm. I don't know if I can wait that long. So what are you trying to tell me? It's not just the money, sir. It's the job itself. Endless riding up and down the line. Well, you know, some people like Jed and Dyer like that. It's a little repetitive for me. Maybe if I went somewhere and made a big pile of money, I could come back and I wouldn't mind so bad. Well, I suppose, you know, you're always welcome here. I sure hate to lose you. But what do you think about doing? There's a man named Holloway. He's paying top dollar. Of course, I'd have to be dealing with dynamite and explosives. Hmm. All right, Wyatt. I suggest you go ahead and give it a try. If you don't, you won't know. I'm hoping you won't like it, so you'll come back and help us. Do I know you? I'm Mason. I'm with the Dodge City Marshals. I didn't know the Dodge City Marshals hired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ma was Cherokee, and Paul, he was pure Anglo-Saxon, white as they come. He was a lawman all his life. 
And he damn sure wasn't going to let his only son do anything else. What are you doing in Colorado? I'm recruiting for the marshals. You wouldn't be looking for a change of assignment, would you? How'd you figure that out? Well, I'm pretty good at what I do. What's the pay? Not as good as the railroad. But it's a bit safer, I'd say. Mason, well, I didn't work for the railroad very long. Guess I'm still chasing that dollar bill. I appreciate the offer, but... Well, if you have a change of heart about that, I'll be back around. So you must be Mr. Wyatt, or... You must be Mr. Holloway. So you're a former lawman. That's right. And you? I'm a salesman. I deal in explosives, mostly. And you're looking for security agents? I need a chaperone for my shipments. <laughs> Sounds dangerous. The cargo itself can be dangerous. Lost these two fingers two weeks ago. I lost this eye a year ago. I hope it was worth it. The business pays well, and I pay my people well. I've been working for Furlong Railroad. He's a cheap ass son of a bitch. You've done business with him? He was looking for dynamite for a train tunnel he was digging. My prices weren't low enough for him, so he went with some old blasters. He got them from a failed freight line that he bought. Bad idea, I'm guessing. You see, when the dynamite gets old, the nitro tends to sweat out. It soaks up everything around it. Furlong lost two good men because he wouldn't pay for my goods. So I'm guessing you pay better than Furlong? Twice as much. Plus bonuses for every shipment you get through. Count me in. I need you to start right away. Ezekiel. Ezekiel, come on. Wake up. Come on, Ezekiel, wake up. Who are you? A friend. We gotta get you out of here. There's a bunch of wild critters hankering to have you for supper. I had a dream. Did you? Yeah, my mom and pa was in it. Feel like walking? Wanna play some cards? Might as well. Loser buys. Thank you for coming so quickly, Marshal Cass. Not a problem, Elizabeth. I heard you had a situation over here. Let me explain. A young man wandered in here last night. 
I think he's been wandering the streets for a while. Okay, so where is he? I don't usually do favors for strangers, but I let him sleep in one of the empty rooms. That don't sound like you, Elizabeth. I know, but this was different. I had a brother that was in the war. When he came back, it was like he was there, but he wasn't. Not dangerous or anything, just didn't really know what was going on. This young man had that same look. Well, did you get his name? Smith. Smith. Plenty of them. What about his first name? Anthony. But that's all I could get out of him. All right. Well, I'd like to talk to him, please. I'll go get him. Well, fancy meeting you here, Marshal Marlowe. Don't you ever spend any time at the jail anymore? <laughs> I stop more mischief here than I ever can do at the jail. <laughs> yeah, I reckon so. I can vouch he don't do much drinking here. Thank you, Jess. Of course, if he bought a drink, he might have to leave a tip, which I ain't never seen him do. <laughs> I'm a regular, and regulars and are not too much into that gratuitous. What is that, some kind of unwritten law you made up? More of a friend than a customer. <laughs> so, this is the situation. He's been asleep for 12 hours. My goodness. Wished I could do that. Listen, Anthony. Let's you and me talk. Man to man. Where are you from? I'm from the farm. You got a ma and pa? Well, I did. But they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Mind telling me what happened? They got sick. Let's see. So, uh, when did this a happen? A long time ago. Well, then what have you been doing? Well, sir, I've been walking. Just walking. And I've seen the devil. Ooh. So, what does this devil look like? He's got long black hair. I see. And what makes you think it was the devil, Anthony? Because he killed everybody. So, you saw the devil kill people. Yes, sir. He killed everyone. He told lies. And then, he just killed everyone. Son, I think maybe you're just grieving over your ma and pa, or you're plumb loco. Marshal, I'm not grieving, and I'm not loco. I've seen the damn devil. All right, all right, take it easy. The reason why we stopped here is this here store is the best source of supplies and ammo in the county. Looks like you've been on the trail for a while. Forever. What can I do for you today? I got a lot of guns. 
I can see that. <laughs> no. I have a lot of guns. I need ammo. You've come to the right place. We've got ammo for just about everything. How is it a lady like you, working in a store like this, all alone? My husband went to get some feed. He'll be back in ten minutes. Besides, I've got my friend right here just in case. I like that piece you have there. Sorry, not for sale, but I got a lot of them that are. No, I want that one. You weren't planning on paying for anything, were ya? Mister, we got deputies coming in here all the time. You just might want to back on out of here and hightail it. What the hell was that? Fellas volunteer to check out the back. I'll check it out. No, you won't. Well, Theo, looks like you and Lucy are getting along. She's pretty, but not exactly what I had in mind. Well, maybe. Oh no, all I serve is drinks. And that you do very well. But Miss Elizabeth, I have another hankering. Something different. Something special. Which is? You. I'm gonna have to disappoint you, Theo. I'm the proprietress of this establishment and no longer engage in those types of activities. Well, that's a shame, ma'am, cause for you, I'd pay double. Ain't you a good businesswoman? You heard the lady. She doesn't do that as a profession anymore. Now, now, my money's just as good as the next fellow's. Mister, don't make me tell you again. You might want to back off. The marshal is her husband. Guess you'll have to do. Come with me. Hey, darling, how you doing? I'm good. My name's McGillicuddy. What's yours? Lucy. Lucy. Uh, Lucille? You can call me Lucille. I like that name. You look like you might have done a thing or two. I've been around. Me too. Now, I got a proposition for you. If you don't leave me, I think we can have a fine time. What kind of proposition? It involves a horse. I know what you're thinking. It's not that kind of a thing. What are we doing on a horse? I think you know what we'd be doing on a horse. A little bit of bareback, you know. Bareback, bareback. Oh, riding along. That sounds a little dangerous. That's what the stirrups are for. You just dig your feet in there, grab hold of the mane. Riding along. Right there. You ever do it on a boat? You got to move the waves a little bit. Just kind of smooth. I have never been on a boat. That's a shame. Damn shame. All right. You got the motion. You understand the motion. You're on a horse. Riding along, you got the motion. Just a little bit rougher than a boat. I think it'd be a lot more fun with you on there than just only by myself. Riding along. I imagine so. I'm not really left-handed. It's hard for me to... Steer the horse properly. And look, I'm what I'm proposing here is a business proposal. It's not just a, I don't know about this. I'm a I'm a businessman. How much are we talking? I got a I got a good bit. I think we gotta try it out. Let me give it some thought. I, okay. I mean I'll I'll be here. I'll get back to you. You gonna send me a telegram? Sure will. Alright. Now Working for the dynamite industry was a tricky endeavor for anyone with a goal of living a long and happy life. A few years earlier, the U.S. government had outlawed the transportation of dynamite. 
This was on account of a lot of people dying in California working with the stuff. The work mostly involved cross-country trips over rough terrain, and these folks needed all the luck they could muster. Hey! Hey, what? What are we doing for supper? I'll be there in a few minutes. <sighs> the hell? So you've been working for me for a month, you just had a nice payday, and now you're quitting on me? So what's the problem? Well, sir, all of your former security agents have perished in the line of duty. So maybe you're a little better than them. I think our business here is finished. Have you ever had a shipment where somebody didn't die along the way? Truthfully, no. I believe I'll take my leave. Evening, Wyatt. Told you I'd be back around. Yeah, you did. So, apparently the railroad wasn't dangerous enough for you. You really are doing a dance with the devil, aren't you? Mason, I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't want to work for pennies, but I also don't want to get myself killed. I got an idea. Dodge City Marshals? No, no. Something for the soul, Wyatt. It's a place. A place? Yeah, right here in Colorado, far southwest. In the desert? Yeah, it's in the desert. It's a place the native folks call the Ancient Canyon. What you have, Wyatt, is what they call a question of balance. So out there, you might not find the answers you're looking for, but you might find a pathway to get to those answers. How do I get there? Mason was doing a good job trying to pull Wyatt back to law enforcement, but the nightmares continued and Wyatt drifted into further west.
After running out of ideas for a quick buck and having not a whole lot left in his pockets, Wyatt finally came to see me in Dodge City. I'm John Cass, Marshall, Dodge City, Kansas. Gentlemen, this here's Wyatt Earp. He's gonna be coming on as deputy here. Comes highly recommended by Milliken. That's Milliken out of Wichita? Yes, sir. He's a good man. Why'd you leave Wichita, Mr. Earp? Just needed a change. They don't pay much there, do they? No, they don't. No, anyway. Mr. Earp, that's uh, Fomer and Snyder. They've been here longer than anybody, including me. You can usually find them over at the jail doing real work. There's William Hart. He owns this place. No, I don't. Listen, when you got married to Elizabeth, the saloon became yours. That don't count for nothing. I couldn't run the Queen of Hearts if I wanted to. That's Elizabeth's doing. She worked real hard for the money to buy this place. And I know how she earned it, but she got it. She turned this place into a nice, clean establishment. Runs everything legal. She's the proprietress here, and nobody better forget it. Right, honey? That's right. Anyhow, Mr. Earp. There's uh, Marlo McCormick. They've been here coming up on about a year now. Awful lot of deputies for a town this size. Well, you may have heard Dodge City is something of a boom town. And with that comes a whole host of problems. So that's why we run a 24-hour department here. Now, over there at the bar is our most recent acquisition, Deputy Boom. He comes to us directly from working security for the railroad. I've got a little experience working security for the railroad. What'd you think? Bunch of liars and thieves. Excuse me. Let me correct myself. People I worked with, they were fine. The owners of the railroad, they were a bunch of liars and thieves. You're out of line, deputy. In the diet there has been with the railroad his whole life. It don't take too kindly to such influence. You need to stand down, Jedediah. I'm not in the mood for your bullshit today. For 30 years I've worked the steel rail. I'll stand down when you apologize. You're not pig's ass. here in Dodge City do things a little different. Hi there, you uh, sweet little thing. My name's McGillicuddy, and your name must be Sweet Thing because you are precious. <laughs> do you have a name, or am I just going to call you Sweet Thing for the rest of the night? My name's Millie, darling. Millie, darling, that is wonderful. You are a, a working girl. You want to make a little money, don't you? Oh, yes, sir. Good. Because I have a something I would like to do, and... Um, I think you might just be the, the right thing okay. for me. <laughs> so Millie kind of rhymes with Philly, right? You are a little Philly. <laughs> this thing involves horses. A horse? No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong now. <clears throat> uh, it's, uh, it's not with a horse. More on a horse. You heard of bareback riding before, right? Oh, sure. Well, bareback riding, it's kind of on a horse without the saddle on. I'm talking more about the other kind of bareback riding. It's kind of riding a horse with no clothes on. <laughs> See, I knew you'd like it. I knew you'd like this idea. <laughs> so what I'd like to do, I'm looking for a woman who'd be willing to maybe 
ride on a horse with me. I think we can make that happen. Can we? I haven't seen you around in a while. Maybe I didn't want you to. So how do you like going back to law enforcement? It's all right, I reckon. I still got a problem haunting me. Besides you haunting me. You know what I mean. I know. I've been keeping an eye on the way you've been bouncing between towns and trades. Do you even know what you're searching for anymore, Wyatt? Something better, I suppose. Stop acting like you don't know what's going on around here. Nash Gat has been causing trouble in these parts. You can't keep dodging him forever. You know what you gotta do. What's gotta be done? Well, then it's time you do it. Stop dancing around the devil. Wyatt? Yeah, Lucy? You okay? Sure. Why do you ask? Well, you've been talking to yourself. Just thinking. Hey, Lucy? Yeah? Do you see somebody sitting over here next to me? What's that supposed to mean? In this chair right here beside me. Do you see a lady sitting there? Wyatt, I think you need to lay off the whiskey for the rest of the night. You're making me look crazy, you knew that. You've been doing a pretty good job of that all by yourself. And why don't you just go spend some time with that nice lady? Hey, Lucy, want to go upstairs? Sure. I'd like to talk to you about a horse. You must be Nash Get. Yes. I know you. You the one they call Patches. Who the hell are you? They call me Sawyer. What you want with me, Sawyer? Figure we want to work with you. I work alone. Well, you see, you and us, we got a common enemy. Who's that? Marshals, up in Dodge City. We got a plan that'll take care of most of them. I'd like to hear it. Hello, Anthony. Are you looking for Elizabeth? Then what? Is that him? Go in the back. I guess this ain't your busy time of day. Gets like this sometimes. Can I get you something? Where are the marshals? Marshals? Which marshals? Don't move at all, Tess. I guess those marshals. Good afternoon. Lower your weapons, gentlemen. And I won't shoot this pretty lady in the face. At least not today. Marshals. You remember the last time you tried to shoot me down? At the gun store? On the edge of town? Run by that feisty thing. He's talking about Sissy. Tell Wyatt Earp to meet there tomorrow. Say, 2 p.m. 
We can do that. Of course, y'all are welcome as well. I swear, why it's gonna be late for his own funeral. That's kind of getting to be a habit here. Wait a minute, here he comes. Gentlemen. Hey, Wyatt. You been filled in? Only the get showed up set up a shooting after two o'clock more. That's right. And seeing as you had personal experience with this varmint, we was kind of hoping you had a plan. Don't show up. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, I hear most other marshals have somewhere else to be tomorrow. I don't reckon they fancy being dead. Anyway, I still don't hear no plan. I hunted this guy for six months before he's walked into that saloon and shot down a really good friend of mine. The one thing I can tell you is that he always works alone. You sure about that? No, not sure. That's based off what I've seen and what I've been told. Did I see it? Gid has this inflated idea about what he can and cannot do. Right now, he thinks he can get away with anything. He thinks he'll never die. But I still don't hear no plan. Be very, very careful. Why? Your strategic brilliance just dazzles me. You are planning on being there tomorrow, right? I was planning on it. Who else come inside us? Cass and one of them. That makes five. That should be what we need. I sincerely hope so. See anything, sissy? Nothing yet. Where the hell is Wyatt? I ain't seen hiding the hair of regular chicken out. No, that ain't like him. Wait a minute. There's Get. out of range. Yeah, he knows that. What in the hell is he doing? We gotta go find him.
quiet, release me. Release me. Kill him now, Wyatt. What are you two doing in there? We hurt and why we've been shot in pieces. I can probably get you some more loading. Oh no, I don't want no more of that stuff. No, we ain't getting using that stuff that can't get off of it. We don't need none of that. Congratulations on getting your man, White. Where are the other two marshals? Recuperating. They shot up worse than us. What's all that about, Why? I'm tendering my resignation. You was just getting to know Dodge City. Just, there's got to be something better for me. Well, what? Where are you figuring on heading from here? My brother Virgil will be coming through town in a couple days. He's going to be taking a wagon down to New Mexico territory. And what in the hell is in New Mexico? There's an up-and-coming boom town. This one's called... Tombstone.
Thank you.